Environmental Rights Group, Mother Earth Foundation, has called for the advancement of environmental justice to address issues of exploitation. This call was made at the 10th anniversary conference held in Abuja with the theme, Advancing Environmental Justice in Africa. It is instructive to note that till date, over 350 to 4 million square meters of land is destroyed yearly in Nigeria due to activities such as deforestation, oil exploration and exploitation. One of the key challenges that we have on our continent is the mindset of our politicians with regard to extractivism. I've heard it over and over again that Nigeria cannot survive without extracting crude oil. That Africa cannot survive without extracting minerals. He said, if you don't extract it, what are you going to do with it? This mindset that we must grab, whatever nature has given us, is a problem. We need to come to a point where we take what is needed and not just what we can. The fact that you have the capacity to grab something doesn't mean that you should grab it. The fact that you can take something doesn't mean you should take it. I believe you agree with me about that. We have a towing box, so we don't go about blowing it up every day. Dignitaries lamented the sorry state of areas exploited and degraded by some oil majors like Shell and Ajib in the Niger Delta, particularly by Elsa, where crude oil was first discovered in Nigeria. The group made it clear that everyone had a role to play in saving the environment and for this reason called on everyone to work together with the government in preserving the environment. The uh, doing very well. As a matter of fact, most people may not even know that. The subsidy thieves are actually oil thieves as well because they pretend to bring a shipload of oil into the country and then the perfect paper works for 10 and they collect the money. Sometimes they get so used to the process that they don't even need to bring anything at all. They just perfect the paperwork and then they get the money. Are you wondering why everyone now says that oil subsidy has been a scam? But that these are some of the colorations of oil thieves. But overall, as the oil and gas is exploited, the people of the Niger Delta are polluted, made poorer than you can imagine. It is my candid opinion that there seems to be more serious effort about environment issues at the national level than at the sub-national level in Nigeria. There are more technically competent personnel at the federal level than at the sub-national level. This gap must be addressed to enable us to move forward at a much faster and efficient way in order to save our environment from our numerous harmful practices. The time to do it is now, and there is much more but little time. Our understanding as FES that only if and I think you have been always an advocate for that. We can create sustainable livelihoods and also sustainable alternatives to what the people are doing on the ground, what they are working, how they do their daily living. Then we can induce a change which will not only be environmentally friendly, but also sustainably in a social way. And for that, once again, on behalf of FES, I want to commend you very much. I can assure you of our friendship, our partnership, and I think it has been mentioned before and will be discussed, I think, in, in detail during the event. The times are not getting any easier, neither in Nigeria nor worldwide. The effects of climate change, of environment change are all around us. And the time is slowly running out, and I don't have to teach you anything about that. But in this, I think our common struggle, FES, shall be on your side. And we will always have an open ear for your ideas, and hopefully you also have an open ear for our ideas and the partners we want to bring into that. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.